Sometimes all you want to do is just kick back and watch a movie. But how do you go from watching a movie on a small phone screen like this to the big screen? That's what we're going to talk about today. This is a look at the Android app called LocalCast and how it works with your Chromecast or your Apple TV because it does support both. So first we'll take a look at the app on the phone. You can download it in the Play Store for free. And what you'll need to do is connect to either of the two devices, whichever you have. Um, so we'll start with Chromecast, which we do have up on the screen. And a local cast app takes over the TV. At that point, you need to select which video file you want to watch. So we'll go here, navigate to it. I want to watch the movie Divergent. So I tap that, and it's already connected to the Chromecast, and now we just wait for uh, a moment for it to load. What the app is doing in this time is setting up a media server so that it can stream to the Chromecast, and you'll see that here in the notification bar that it's started that server. And then it takes over the TV, and within just a couple minutes, starts a couple seconds, starts playing. So on the phone you have the typical controls. Um, you can scrub forwards and backwards in the movie. You just jump a little ways through. Sometimes there's a little bit of a buffering time. Um, but also your forwards, backwards, play, pause, and you can also add subtitles as well with the app. When the phone is off and you're ready to just sit back and watch the movie, you don't need the screen on, just for the sole fact that we're not using display mirroring. So the, the phone can be off, it can sit next to you on the couch, and the movie will continue. From the lock screen, you do have, you can use the phone as a remote. Uh, you can pause the movie, which is helpful if you need to get up and run for a quick bathroom break. Uh, and then when you come back, resume. So I did find that uh, using the app, I watched a full length movie last night, did use a, quite a bit of battery, so it might be helpful to have a charger on hand. Um, but you can also just let the phone sit with the screen off. You can also go about using it for anything else that you might want to do while you're sitting on the couch, um, while the movie's playing. I thought we got it queued back up, maybe not. Oh, there are ads, so you'll have to click through those. Okay, the movie's playing again. You can exit the app and go about doing whatever it is that you want to do with your phone. The game's simple. It's like catch your flag. So, a choice. that's integration with Chromecast. Now what we'll do is disconnect from the Chromecast. And we'll do the same thing with Apple TV. So here, let me switch the input on the TV. So now we're in Apple TV. And we'll go ahead and switch the device that we want to stream to to the Apple TV. And do the same process over again. We'll navigate to the video file that we want to watch. We'll tap to begin. And within a second or so, the local cast app will take over the Apple TV. Let's hit play. And I'm really not sure what this thumbnail is up here. It changes. You can see at the top it says cast into Apple TV. This has got some Chinese subtitles or something. I'm not sure. And the other one, when we were doing Chromecast, just had some grassy picture. But so here it is. Let's scrabble ahead just a little ways. I've noticed that the integration with Apple TV isn't quite as good. It's not as it's not as smooth. It does work, but 
see I tried to straddle ahead here and it ended up starting the movie all over so not sure what to make of that from the lock screen it still does work you can turn the phone off and the movie does continue to stream you do have play and pause controls which is all you really I mean at the end of the day that's really what is important let's try moving ahead here So I try to jump to 39 minutes in, and it's uh, it's thinking about it. Hmm. So a little less uh, less than reliable with the Apple TV, but it it does work. If you're just going to turn the movie on and watch it all the way through, you shouldn't have any troubles. And so that's it. Apple TV and Chromecast both work with the local cast Android app.